Hello friends and welcome to our YouTube channel. This video is about motor neuron disease. In this video, first I will tell you about concept and classification of motor neuron diseases. Then we will say clinical subtypes and we will get back to our classification to accommodate all types in the classification. Do watch our full video for proper understanding. I will also provide important points for motor neuron diseases for exams like NEET PG and FMG. Before going further, like this video and subscribe our channel. So first of all, what is motor neuron disease? As the name suggests, it is a disease of motor neurons. It is irreversible loss of motor neurons and gliosis in motor cortex, in motor nuclei or brainstem and antigen horn cells of spinal cord. Unfortunately, the disease is chronic and progressive in nature. Now let's see MND systematically. It can be classified depending upon the following. First, whether it is hereditary or sporadic. For this, just remember friends, 90% of MNDs are sporadic in nature, so there won't be any family history. And second classification is whether the degeneration affects upper motor neuron or lower motor neuron or both. And this is the main clinical classification we will discuss. Ok for now, just keep this classification aside, we will get back to this classification later in this video. For understanding types, let's understand the basic concept with simple diagram. Let this be motor cortex, this be our medulla and the last is our spinal cord. Upper motor neurons starts from primary motor cortex in precentral gyrus and control the motor outflow of both spinal nerves and cranial neurons. From medulla, there is lower cranial nerves that is from 9th to 12th and from there outflow goes to respective muscles like tongue muscles. And from spinal cord, Nerves innervates the peripheral muscles through neuromuscular junction. So these are lower motor neurons from brainstem as cranial nerves and this pathway is known as corticobulbar pathway. Remember friends, the word bulbar means related to medulla. And the second one is lower motor neurons of spinal cord as corticospinal tract. So with the help of this concept, we will see clinical subtypes of MNDs. First is pseudobulbar palsy. In pseudobulbar palsy, there is degeneration of upper motor neurons of corticobulbar pathway. As upper motor neuron degenerates, regulation of bulbar outflow is interrupted. So the lower motor neurons of lower cranial nerves are intact without being controlled by upper motor neurons. So this is upper motor neuron type of lesion. Therefore, the clinical features will be spasticity, hyperreflexia, etc. and it will be seen in muscles supplied by bulbar cranial nerves like tongue. The next is progressive bulbar palsy. Here, there is degeneration of motor nuclei in the medulla. So, the bulbar outflow itself is interrupted. This is lower motor neuron type of lesion. Here, the symptoms will be weak and wasted tongue with fasciculations. So, these both types were upper and lower motor neuron type of disease involving cortical bulbar pathway. Now, we will say disease involving cortical spinal tract. In this, first is primary lateral sclerosis. Here, there is degeneration of upper motor neurons or salivates of corticospinal pathway in motor cortex. So muscles which are innervated by these nerves will show human type of lesion and presentation will be spasticity, hypertonicity, hyperreflexia with positive Ebinsky sign. The next should be lower motor neuron type of disease which is progressive spinal muscular atrophy. Here there is loss of motor neurons in anterior horn cells of spinal cord. So, Lower motor neurons are involved and presentation will be flaccidity, hyporeflexia, hypotonia and atrophy with fasciculations. So primarily lateral sclerosis and progressive spinal muscular atrophy were upper lower motor neuron type of disease of spinal cord. Now we will come to next type which is amyotrophic lateral sclerosis. Here there is mixed upper motor neuron and lower motor neuron type of environment. So, some group of muscles may show the features like spasticity and hyperreflexia due to UMN involvement and some may show features like flaccidity and hyperreflexia due to LMN involvement. This ALS is most common type of MNT. Before going to management, let's come back to our classification. All types we studies, we can put this in our classification. In both UMN and LMN type, there will be one from disease of corticospinal tract and one from corticobulbar tract. First human type of disease involving corticospinal tract is primarily lateral sclerosis and corticobulbar tract is pseudobulbar palsy. 
element type of disease involving corticospinal tract is progressive spinal muscular atrophy and disease involving corticobulbar tract is progressive bulbar palsy and in mixed type we can put ALS that is amyotrophic lateral sclerosis. Now for the management I need you to remember two drugs. The first drug is Reluzol. It reduces glutamate induced excitotoxicity and recommended dose is 100 mg per day. Next drug is Idaveron. It is free radical scavenging agent. It just slows down the disease progression. Recommended dose is 30 to 60 mg per day given as IV infusion. So friends this were all about MNDs with clinical types. I hope you liked the video. Do watch our other videos on various topics and share it among your friends. And link for the notes of important points for NEET PG will be given in the description below. Thank you.